Number 1. By Motor to CH2 This motorcycle is a result of the partnership between Kawasaki and the Italian boutique motorcycle manufacturer, the By Motor. And it's a beautiful motorcycle, but in a weird way. As the name suggests, the Tessie H2 is based on Kawasaki H2 and the rumor suggests that the Tessie H2 will make around 300 brake horsepower and it is probably not going to be street legal. The Tessie H2 shares a lot of design element with the H2. The tail section is awfully close to the H2. If someone mistakes it for a modified H2, you can't blame them. But the most unique feature of the Tessie H2 is the Bimoda's signature design element the center hub steering system. Number 2. Ducade Panigale V2 Calling a 955cc motorcycle that makes 155 bhp as middle weight might be considered as total insanity about a decade ago. But in the world of 200 plus bhp superbikes, not so much. This bike could be the perfect stepping stone for those who are upgrading from a small capacity sports bike like the Yamaha R6 Ninja 650, etc. The 955cc Desmodromic V2 engine has been carried over from the old Panigale 959, with enough changes to comply with the Euro 5 emission rules. And Ducati managed to squeeze out 5 more horsepower while doing so. But what makes this motorcycle more accessible to the majority of the riders is the electronic package that Ducati offers with this bike. Ducati haven't cut any corners with this one. It's got an IMU based traction control, wheelie control, slide control, engine braking control, lean sensitive ABS, etc. If you are intimidated by the sheer power of the flagship Panigale V4 but still loves to have a Ducati Supersport machine, the Panigale V2 might be just right for you. Number 3 MV Agusta Super Veloce Auto Cento When it comes to building beautiful motorcycles, no one does it better than the MV Agusta. In 2019, MV Agusta introduced two limited run Serioro models. One of them was the Brutale Serioro, a 1000cc naked street bike, and the other one was the Super Veloce Serioro, a vintage inspired classic super bike. Both of these bikes were sold out in a matter of days, but thankfully, MV Agusta announced that the regular production versions of these bikes will join their lineup in 2020. The Super Veloce Ottocendo is based on the Brutale 800. It uses the same 789cc inline triple that produces 150 brake horsepower and 97Nm of torque. This bike weighs in at just 173 kilograms. For reference, that is just 3 kilograms more than the KTM RC390. Number 4. Aprilia R660 In the world of superbikes, Aprilia is known for their magnificent RSV4. This V4-powered superbike was first introduced in 2008. Since then, Aprilia kept refining it to the point of perfection. This motorcycle has won Best Sports Bike of the Year award more times than any other motorcycle in its category. And it shows how good Aprilia is in building a superbike. Now, Aprilia is putting their superbike expertise into building something more accessible, the RS660. This bike is powered by a 660cc parallel twin engine derived from their 1000cc V4. It makes 105 brake horsepower. Aprilia haven't released any other details about the engine, besides its power figure. Number 5. Honda CBR 1000 Triple R Honda has been kicking in the motorsports world, especially in the MotoGP, for quite some time now. But when it comes to the real world, Honda has been seriously lagging behind the competition. Even their last major superbike launch, the CBR 1000 RR, was kind of underwhelming. But all of that will be over soon, because in 2020, Honda will launch the CBR 1000 RR. It's not the old CBR with a shiny new bodywork, it's completely new from the ground up. From its heavily aerodynamic influenced bodywork to its all new power plant. Every single component in this motorcycle is designed with the intention of achieving maximum performance. The CBR is powered by an all new highly oversquared 999cc inline 4 engine, making a staggering 215 brake horsepower at 14,500 rpm and 130 Nm of torque at 12,500 rpm. 
That is a huge 25 bhp leap from the old CBR 1000 RR. This bike also comes with the latest and greatest electronic gizmos to keep you safe while you're putting that power down to the ground.